My name is Maya Freelon Asante. I have artwork in Madagascar, Rome, and Jamaica in the U.S. embassies there. For the last five, six years, I've been working in the medium of tissue paper. So it's got a sculptural element. It's also got a really beautiful, flowing, flat element too, where I can make monoprints and use the tissue ink as actual print onto a paper. The tissue paper I actually found in my grandmother's basement, water had dripped on it from water damage maybe from, I don't even know when it happened, but there was a beautiful and intricate stain and it was an aha moment. I said, this is what I want to work with. It was a beautiful accident, but I tried to recreate that in my work. So I credit my grandmother as the inspiration for my artwork. Seeing her work so hard and do basically dedicate her life to making a, a, a life better for her children was really inspiring to me. And also the tissue paper goes back to the African American vernacular of tissue quilts, quilting, quilting bees, circles. I make the tissue quilts with people, sometimes I make them with just myself. And it's something that brings us together. We talk when we're doing it and the sculpture becomes actually part of a community thing. It becomes I am because we are Ubuntu, the African philosophy that a single piece by itself means nothing, but when we join together, it's strength and unity and power. Madagascar has the Ubuntu sculpture on a wall that's three stories high. I went up in the genie lift with my harness on all the way down to the floor. And they purchased uh, tissue paper as a permanent installation. And that was really a marker for my career and validity of the object and of the materials. In my work, what I do is I find photographs from my personal collection. I also find photographs from antique stores and I also take my own photographs which I then integrate the monoprint process into. For brilliant children, I wanted to find a balance between the beauty and the color of the abstract flow along with the uh, eye-catching and pulling imagery of figures in the work. Spectra is an artwork, a tissue ink monoprint that I created it's about 50 by 50 on a spinning pottery wheel. And so when the tissue ink was wet, it was spinning. So you get a pull, push and pull at the same time in this work. And it reminds me of a galaxy or solar system. I identify as a black female artist because I want to identify that way. I feel like it's important, given the history and culture and the way that I was raised, to recognize that my path might have been different from someone else's. I don't feel like that's putting me in a box. I feel like that is a good thing to honor and appreciate someone's history and culture. I believe in humanity. If my art brings you joy, even just for five minutes, it's about appreciating the beauty of now. And it's about honoring that and to spread that to somebody else.